This is an all women podcast. Hey. From the host to the producers to I'm sure we'll find an editor who's also a woman. Yeah, I'm picking on that one little bit. That's a really female problem, isn't it? Yeah. Also, I'm afraid of horses. That's not a female problem. Yeah, that's not a female problem at all. But me, fully afraid of horses. A couple of episodes coming up. What do we got? We've got overthinking. Yes. We've got TV dramas and how they portray us yes. and how mad it makes us. Why we do that? We're going to talk about that. Yeah. Because this is why we're here to talk about things. Hi, I'm Ilham. I'm friends with this queen called Sabah Banu Malik. And I'm Sabah Banu Malik. And I'm friends with this empress known as Ilham. If the crown fits. If the crown fits. <laughs> I read, I heard about that somewhere. Like someone said it on one of these reality shows that we, you and I both love watching. Yes. And uh, she, the, the exact line was, if the crown is heavy, just leave it where it is. Oh. I loved it. Oh, that's good. I, I don't think I can pull it off in like day to day no no you could next time someone's complaining you'd be like because they're complaining about someone else's success if the crown is heavy leave it where it is you know i like that i like it too. i also really like when people say heavy lies the crown like when someone gives you a backhanded compliment i like, also oh my god you're so confident i'm like yeah heavy lies the crown i also like the fact that we could just throw casually throw these lines out there and no one's gonna judge us no one's gonna ask us <laughs> twice what's up with these two because no one, because no, it's just me and you talking to it's each other. Me. Yeah, but that's what we normally do. Yeah. What do we do? We talk about things. All the time. Very often. If someone was to Google you, because I just realized the people watching this might have no idea who either of us are. Also, we're not even looking at them. I know. <laughs> we're looking at each other. But, yeah. but that's what it is, right? Yeah. Uh, if ahead. someone was to Google you, yeah. what would they be surprised to find out? Just by reading Google? Yeah. Oh, there's so much out there. Uh, <laughs> there's literally nothing about Ilham on the internet. There is. There are so many Ilhams out there that don't live here. That this don't, I'm the only one, one that most of my friends know. Yeah. I'm the only Ilham that most of my friends know. But if you Google the name Ilham and also Ilham Sheikh, there's a lot of them out there in the Middle East. I'm very popular there. At yeah. least my name is. Uh, but the one thing that I think people would be surprised to know is that way back when I've I, I was into photography oh yeah you didn't know this no yeah I, used I don't, to, I don't I think you've ever offered to take my photo even once in my life so that's interesting. There's a reason for that yeah. <laughs> I was into photography I stopped because everyone kept asking me to take pictures of them it's but yeah I, I was into like there was a there, there was a time in my life when I was into photography and uh really into music I used to have this a blog no way. Yeah. It was a blog, which was a kind of a mix because I couldn't pick a lane. So there was photography, there was music, and then there was random musings. <laughs> so the original, the original YouTuber, essentially. Yeah. The yeah. OG. The OG. OG blogging. In the written form. In the written form. I yeah. I, I, I used had to no write. Idea. I used to write. And then somewhere down the, the, down the road, I got really busy in life and I stopped writing. Yeah. The busiest in life, I would say. Um, what about you? What about me? See, okay, wait, I got something better. Yeah. If someone was to Google you, what is it that they won't find on Google that you could tell me? Yeah, because I was going to say, for me, you can find a lot about me on Google. Um, what would they not find? Yeah. Because that's Damn, what it see, is, right? I like, had a funny response for this, but you gave such a real one. <laughs> I'm like, I should give a real one. Because okay. I was like, if you Google me, you'll find out that like one of the most award-winning race horses in Saudi Arabia is named Sababato. No way. Yeah, it's like a stallion or something. That's cool. Because I, I was Googling to make sure like none of my, my darkest secrets are out there in the world that maybe I just signed with my professional name. Turns out that's, me and a horse. But that's a really, okay, so yeah. coming to that, I'm picking on that one little bit. That's a really female problem, isn't it? Yeah. Also, I'm afraid of horses. That's not a female problem. Yeah, that's not a female problem at all. But me, fully afraid of horses. So I just thought I needed to get that out there while we were. You said something people might not know about yeah, me. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Definitely afraid of horses. Wow. Yeah. But what uh, I do know about you and what I'm sure other people know about you is that you're the queen of Twitter. Thank you. Yeah. Heavy. Heavy lies the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, you're also, uh, I mean, I would kind of. I don't, I don't know if you actually have this title, but I would actually give you the title of activist because you do speak up for a lot of different causes, a oh. lot of people's rights. 
um a lot of people who <laughs> me nodding along like i'm learning about someone new i'm like oh my god this yeah. person sounds amazing you do you do yeah. i mean you're very passionate about uh causes and you're very passionate about activism fair whatever yes. it is small in some small way i mean i'm sure no one's officially given you the title but i'm giving it to you now you know what that's all i ever needed you've given me many of my titles so <laughs> i really appreciate that is that. correct what else do we have we've got rj at city fm 89 yes What's your show called? It's called Full Disclosure at City FM 89. And I am produced by none other <laughs> than Miss Ilham Sheikh, which is exactly how we met five years ago. That's true. Yes. It's been five years? Yeah. And actually, though we didn't meet in a Dawn building, we were on the phone while each of us was standing in respective Dawn buildings it was, in different parts of the country. It, it was, I mean, if you guys haven't noticed already... It was chemistry in instantly. Yes, I, but wait, I don't know. was on the call. Uh, it was on a call, but we yeah. got along really well. Did you fly down? No. no, it was on a call. It was on a call. Um, Initially, it was yeah. on a call, and then uh, you flew down. I flew you down. Yes, for your photo shoot. Yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> those photos still going strong today. I should probably update, but you know, I was thinner than. Um, but you, Ilham. Yeah. Because we were saying we should say things about each other. We should. That perhaps people wouldn't know. I would say. One of the hardest working people. You are an institution at dawn in itself. That's when she was like, things got busy. I was like, yes, because I came along and about a thousand others of us who depend on Ilham every day. But also you're the, my favorite way to describe you, which I don't think you love. Serial but, killer. <laughs> yeah. A little bit, a little bit of a danger. Danger woman, maybe. Yeah, of course. But um, you, we're just going to pretend like my one asset <laughs> just crashed to the ground. Um, Loopery. Yeah, I... You are the person that everyone is like, oh yeah, that's my best friend. But we're all still like, but are we? <laughs> and I and I don't say that. I say that in like the best way. Like you are a very um, reliable, loyal. Like you give it. You're a generous person. You're a generous friend. I mean, you're hardcore. Will I get a compliment out of you? Can By you? pulling, but it'll come. <laughs> but I mean, like I know that like you're someone who has a lot of people's backs and a lot of people like you. I a try. Lot. And I'm try to also, claim you as theirs. <laughs> I'm also terrible at compliments. Yeah. That's another thing that you will not be able to Google about me. Yeah. I'm terrible at co compliments. Uh, and I think that's a very uh, us problem. Women's. As women's. Problems. Yeah. It is. And uh, I eat them up. I'm not going to. But I do. Yeah. I do find myself. Come on. Self-deprecating humor. Yeah. You hide behind that too. That's for sure. That's for sure. I do think that when I when I get a compliment, my instinct is to be like, oh no no, because like if someone's like, oh your hair looks nice today, I'm like, oh for real, like I didn't even wash it. Like I'm I, I'm a dirty person. Don't it's come near like me. It's like the know? first thing you panic. say, right? Yeah. Like it's the first thought that pops into your head. And uh, why we do that? We're going to talk about that. Yeah. Because this is why we're here to talk about things. To talk, right? Yes, all things pertaining to us, women, culture, dramas, reality. The reality we live in and the reality that we watch. Nuances. Nuances. Like your the next uh, couple of episodes coming up. What do we got? We've got overthinking. Yes. We've got TV dramas and how they portray us. Yes. And how mad it makes us. Because yes. it genuinely makes me mad. It livid. Oh my God. It's like one of my favorite things to rant about on the internet for sure. Yeah. Is women's betrayal Um dramas. What else are we going to be talking about? Oh, we're also going to be talking about big stuff. Yeah. Like the economy. <laughs> finances yeah uh we're also going to be talking about and we'll have people on because obviously you and me uh i mean i can't speak for you but i personally not an expert on these things i mean i am an expert on most things i would say i say i say things with a lot of conviction as if i know I mean, but i always you talk about the latest reality yeah. show i love to learn Oh, so same. that's my favorite thing we have such exciting guests coming up which yeah. are going to shed light on stuff that not only impacts us but it will impact people that are listening. Also, we do have guests lined up, but if you want to come in and sit down with us and have a chat with us, we're open to it. Yeah, and if you are cooler than me, I will feel threatened. So just know that. And then we'll talk about that too. Yeah, we'll talk. We'll about discuss that it with Saba yeah. and we'll ask her why. <laughs> So it's sort of like therapy for all of it. It's like group therapy, yes. essentially. Yeah, right? from two incredibly unqualified individuals coming okay. to you because we just want to talk about things. Absolutely, and unqualified in most things. Yeah. Except reality shows. Very qualified in that. And, and music. <laughs> and confidence. And confidence. We, go, we got that down. In spades. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, should we talk about this? Let's talk about it. Let's, let's. I love saying that. Let's it's, talk about this. 
So this podcast, by the way, this is a podcast. I don't even know if we've announced that yet, but this has been in the works for over a year, yeah. I want to say. Um, we had plans to get it done. We've shot promos before. Not promos. We did like a pilot episode for Pitch. We did a pilot episode, which was awesome. Honestly, we're so cool. Me saying we words f- like we pitched. Oh, my we God. We were fire in that, um, in, that, in that pilot episode. But also, I feel like it's been a year. It's been a year. So much has happened since then. Yeah. Like our poor producer. I was going to say, our producer went to battle for us. And that's why I have my phone out because I want to read what she actually went through. <laughs> so she was talking to brands about sponsoring this podcast. Hang on. Just before you do that, I, I mean, we should tell people this is an all women podcast hey. from the host to the producers to I'm sure we'll find an editor who's also a woman <laughs> yeah uh, to everyone else that's involved in this our marketing team our sales team everyone who's worked on this with us all women yeah 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 girl power yeah it's awesome get out that's what I say to everyone else but so she was <laughs> she was trying to get a sponsorship yeah. and she was at a meeting and like was speaking with brands and she's pitching this idea that like this is incredible it's two women they're going to be talking it's something different in Pakistan and a brand manager actually said oh I'm not so sure because orte to kuch bhi keh dengi so cute the way you say it yeah? I'm sure he didn't sound like you that. wanna say it the way <laughs> no <laughs> you you did a good job Urdu is my third language everyone be nice to me and then um, her response was like yeah so that was like my point like you basically proved my point and he was just so embarrassed there was also I remember her coming one day like with Dhuan coming out of her ears nice. and she like walked in and she was just like you know what one brand told us that uh, if they're going to send guests in then they have to be male guests and we were like no this is a women podcast so send us women and we I mean I'm sure you have a CEO woman or you have somebody uh, at, like who's an expert at something in your company who can come in sit down with us and talk about whatever they want to talk about and uh, they were like no but we want to send our CEO man I was going to say, I bet they were going to be like, no, no, we're going to go to the office, you know? Um, I, yeah, I'm like zero surprises. I do find that um, in Pakistan, actually everywhere, whenever it's like, this is a women's space or this is women's day or this is a women's panel, the men are like, excuse me. I don't like not being welcome, so move aside. And yeah, they have too many opinions. But that's what that's why it took us so long to get this podcast off the ground. But now we have it. We have and it. And we're here. We're here. We got a sign. We got mics. I love our sign. I love our sign. Do you think we can take this home with us after we're done? Honestly, I I I support women stealing. That's all I'm saying. (laughs) Also, obviously, that's a photo of me, the one on the top. Did we mention that we're on Don News English? Yeah, we're on Don News English. (laughs) We're on Don News English YouTube. Yes. But you can also find us on Don News English Instagram. Nice. Um, And you can actually write to us. You can ask us whatever questions you want us to discuss or talk about. Uh, You can say nice things about us. We love compliments. Yeah. And you can also pitch other people to come in and talk to us. If you want to nominate someone, we're totally down for it. We'll put a little stool right here. (laughs) Make them sit with us. Yeah. And we talk about things. Lots of things. Lots of things. All right. We're really excited. I'm very excited. Me too. That's finally happening. That's finally happening. So this was our intro episode to make sure that you catch episode one. Yeah. It'll come up every Sunday, 8 p.m., a new episode. So tune in to Dawn News English. Sorry, I'm I'm really struggling with my hair. Although it's like... Clothes. Like uh, uh, Jasmine. Unnatural for me. (laughs) (laughs) Jasmine. Jasmine. Your Jasmine. I could be Ariel. Are you going to do it like you do it on the radio? No, no, no. We're just going to go into the next one. (laughs) Oh, it's so nice that you listen. (laughs) This has been in... Are we starting? Yeah, Yeah, this has been in the works. Look into the camera. No, we're not doing that yet. Oh, okay. We're just... Give it two seconds of silence. Okay.